Let America Be America Again by Langston Hughes, published in 1937. Let America be America again. Let it be the dream it used to be. Let it be the pioneer on the plain seeking a home where he himself is free. America never was America to me. Let America be the dream, the dreamer's dream. Let it be that great strong land of love where never kings connive nor tyrants scheme that any man may be crushed by one above. It never was America to me. Oh, let my land be a land where liberty is crowned with no false patriotic wreath. But opportunity is real and life is free and equality is in the air that we breathe. There's never been equality for me nor freedom in this homeland of the free. Say, who are you that mumbles in the dark? And who are you that draws your veil across the stars? I am the poor white fooled and pushed apart. I am the Negro bearing slavery scars. I'm the red man driven from the land. I'm the immigrant clutching the hope I seek, and finding only the same old stupid plan of dog eat dog of mighty crush the weak. I am the young man full of strength and hope, tangled in that ancient endless chain of profit, power, gain, of grab the land, of grab the gold, of grab the ways of satisfying need, of work the men, of take the pay, of owning everything for one's own greed. I am the farmer, bondsman to the soul. I am the worker sold to the machine. I am the Negro servant to all. I am the people, humble, hungry, mean. Hungry yet today, despite the dream, beaten yet today, O oh, pioneers, I am the man who never got ahead, the poorest worker bartered through the years, yet I am the one who dreamt our basic dream, the old world while still a serf of kings, who dreamt a dream so strong, so brave, so true, that even yet its mighty daring sings, and every brick and stone and every furrow turn that's made America the land it has become. Oh, I'm the man who sailed those early seas in search of what I meant to be my home. For I am the one who left dark Ireland's shore and Poland's plain and England's grassy lee. And torn from black Africa's strand, I came to build a homeland of the free. The free? Who said the free? Not me. Surely not me, the millions on relief today, the millions shot down when we strike, the millions who have nothing for our pay, for all the dreams we've dreamed and all the songs we've sung, all the hopes we've held and all the flags we've hung, the millions who have nothing for our pay except the dream. It's almost dead today. Oh, let America be America again, the land that never has been yet. And yet must be the land where every man is free, the land that's mine, the poor man's, Indians, Negroes, me, who made America, whose sweat and blood, whose faith and pain, whose hand at the foundry, whose plow in the rain must bring back our mighty dream again. Sure, call me an ugly name you choose. The steel of freedom does not stain. From those who live like leeches on the people's lives, we must take back our land again. America, oh yes, I say it plain. America never was America to me, and yet I swear this oath, America will be. Out of the rack and ruin of our gangster death, the rape and rot of graft and stealth and lies, we the people must redeem the land, the mines, the plants, the rivers, the mountains, and the endless plain, all, all the stretch of these great green states, and make America again. A prayer from the Book of Common Prayer for the Nation. O oh God, you have made all the peoples of the earth for your delight, to serve you in freedom and in peace. Give to the people of your country a zeal for justice and the strength for forbearance, that we may always remember the responsibilities of freedom, the obligations of abundance, 
and the burden of equality, forever placing ourselves in solidarity with the oppressed, the homeless, and the needy. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.